Good evening and welcome to a new season of movie classics, the first of which, North by Northwest, doubles up admirably as a tribute to the late Cary Grant. It was the fourth and last, and in my opinion, the best of the distinguished thrillers that he made for his fellow Briton, Alfred Hitchcock, with whom he shared an enduring friendship forged by a mutual addiction to licorice all sorts. Now, in case you're wondering what the other three thrillers were, I think I'd better tell you. Suspicion with Joan Fontaine, Notorious with Ingrid Bergman, and To Catch a Thief with Grace Kelly. Mr Grant's co-star in North by Northwest, which was made in 1959, was Eva Murray Saint, and the title, if you're wondering about that too, comes from Hamlet. I am but mad north-northwest. When the wind is southerly, I know a hawk from a handsaw. In that context, a handsaw, just to mention a third subject you might be wondering about, because I know I wondered about it for years, is a heron. However, the title is apt because it reflects the slightly bewildering quality of a film in which practically everyone except Cary Grant is some kind of spy or secret agent, and in which, nevertheless, nothing is quite what it seems to be. I suppose it's most famous now for the crop dusting scene and the chase on Mount Rushmore, but there's a great deal more to admire than that. There's Alfred Hitchcock's sly humour for a start, and there's the effortless ease and elegance with which Mr Grant blunders into and out of innumerable perilous situations. In this kind of film, there never was a director who came close to matching Alfred Hitchcock, and there was certainly no actor in the same league as Cary Grant. Put these two together at the top of their form, as they were in North by Northwest, and you have a real treat. <laughs>